Listen carefully. Keeping some of them are keeping their dirty hands on the Caribbean islands. It is, and uh, there are some few couple of, issues, couple of issues that have been moved in my heart that I would want us to have a conversation with. And for today, we are going to be starting off with the issue of transportation between Africa and the Caribbean. Transportation between Africa and the Caribbean. You all know. When slave trade was taking place, the ships were docking up in Senegal, in Ghana, and in Nigeria, and then Benin, shipping the slaves across. And by flight, it's less than six-hour flight from Africa into one of the airports, actually, in the Caribbean. But unfortunately, the Caribbeans have to fly from the Caribbean into Europe and back into Africa. Because deliberate colonization makes sure that they cut off the line of communication between the Africans on mainland and the Africans that have been moved into the sugarcane plantations. We want to look at the advantages of what can happen if this transportation route can be activated. Not only ships across Africa straight into the Caribbean, we're looking at aeroplanes within six to seven hours, eight hours, maybe even nine hours between Cape Town and the Caribbeans, it should be possible. What kind of business can be activated if this route is actually encouraged and it gets started? We want to challenge Rwanda Airways, Ethiopian Airways, Kenya Airways, South African, or oh, South African, I think has been, been privatized, and any other African airline, including private airline, airlines, that please start organizing straight flights between Africa and the Caribbean. We need our brothers and sisters to start doing business with them. We need to encourage tourism to get started. We need political conversations. We need food exports across. We need technologies. We need universities. We need students from Africa into the Caribbean. I know South Africa benefited, Zimbabwe benefited by sending its students right up into, um, into Cuba for training. There is no need for us only to think that Europe and America can give us solutions for the future. The establishment of a route, the establishment of an airline, between the Caribbean and Africa would activate from tourism. We want to go to the Bahamas as Africans. We want to go to the Caribbean. We want to go to Haiti. We want to go to Virgin Islands. We want to go to to, to, to Togo. We, we, we a strong understanding, a strong link with the islanders. And for that reason, we want to say when they have political issues, Africa must get involved. And when we have resources, Africa must share the resources. I think, actually, if the Caribbean islands can be put together, we can have them as one of the 55th African country. There's no excuse for that. Right now, the Europeans are still keeping some of them, are keeping their dirty hands on the Caribbean islands. It is high time that we start mobilizing fellow Caribbeans throughout all, all the islands to come together to create for themselves a centralized government structure that can speak directly, not to the Europeans, but speak to mainland Africa. Europeans are still keeping some of them.